good morning good, good morning sir i will welcome you to the next class in introduction to modern linguistics we have been talking about the design features of language last time in the last class we looked at two features can does anyone remember what they were um, yeah please number 1 Well, we said language has content, but how is language different from natural language, different from other media or other mediums of communication? Yes, number one, please write. Human languages, natural languages are different from other media of communication because number one, Number one, they are species specific. Only you know, only human beings have this language. You can try teach some words to parrot or monkey or chimpanzee. That does not make them talking animals. Just as a little bit of flying or a little bit of swimming does not make us a flying creature or a swimming creature that is feature number one of language that only human beings have it. The view current today is language is a biological gift, please write biological gift to human beings, only human beings have it, none else. It is species specific, it is a biological gift to mankind just as flying is to bird, swimming is to fish and other kinds of natural attributes are to other creatures. That is a unique feature of natural languages. You can try and teach some words to parrots, you can try and teach some words to chimpanzees, but that does not make them talking animal just as a little bit of flying or a little bit of swimming does not make us human beings a bird or a fish. Do you agree? Yes. Everybody please, do you agree? Yes, sir. Right. The next feature we talked about in the last class was Language is, language is species uniform. All human beings, men and women, black and white, brown and yellow, people with JEE without JEE, IIT students and VIT students, irrespective of class, caste, color, rich, poor, communist, socialist, no matter who they are, everyone has language. Just as every human being has two hands, two eyes, every human being walks on two feet bipedal as the word is. So, every human being is a talking creature. The Greeks called us, does anyone remember? Homo loquens, speaking animals. Greeks called us homo loquens, speaking bipedal people. Okay? We are all the time talking, chattering constantly, sometimes about ourselves, mostly about others. Okay? They are unique features of, it is not there, you know in every other kind of thing. There are mediums of communication, painting, but can every human being paint? Yes or no, please? No. no. Some people can sing, but can everyone sing? No. No. Some people can do computer language, 
Can everyone do that? Oh, I wish they could. Okay, but that doesn't happen. Okay, these are specific skills, but language is a common skill. All human beings have natural languages. One, at least one language. All of us are born talking. Some people may know more words. Some people may know fewer words. Some people may write poetry. Some people may write stories, but basic ability just as some people are able to lift 80 kilograms, some people are able to go without food for 3 days, 4 days. I know one IIT alumnus on this camp, you know a student of this campus, topper of his batch, see unfortunately and he after graduating did not pick up a job, does consultancy, works only one week a year makes enough money and eats only twice a week. Okay. So, some people may be different in ability, but basic ability is the same. Even that IIT graduate eats only through his mouth, needs some nutrition, needs water, knows all the basic skills required. So, some human beings may have more words, some human beings may have fewer words. But all human beings have all the basic kinds of words, so that we can talk to each other. This is a common feature of natural language. Any doubt? Any questions so far? Please. I gave you a test. Do you remember the test? What was the test? Yes, ma. You asked us to write a sentence in our John Fox jumped over a lazy dog and asked us to write it in our uh, mother tongue. Yeah, okay, and in any other medium. Writing in mother tongue is easy, but can you easily do a painting to say this sentence? Can you say that sentence in a in in, a, in, in music through music through guitar? You know. You strung the guitar and you say a quick brown fork, chantober, LAG, dog. Can you do that? You will still need words. Do you see my point? Yes or no, please? Yes. That is music, swimming, painting, sculpture, computer language. They are not common to all mankind, but language is common to all of us. Any problem so far? Any problem so far? No, sir. Lovely. God bless you. Come to today. We will be talking about third feature. Third feature of human language is it is, can you speak it aloud? Culturally transmitted. What is it? Culturally transmitted. Okay? Let us write. culturally transmitted. What does that mean? It means the following, that we have the ability to speak language, to learn language, to acquire language. Nature or God has given us that ability, but that ability will not be realized, will not be actuated, will not come into use and fulfillment until we hear others speak. That is why the children who are deaf also become dumb. You know? Deafness and dumbness go together. Nature has designed us such that we can learn language, but if by some accident of birth, if some mischance, 
we are deprived of the ability to hear, then we cannot speak. Yet we acquire language in a, in a different manner. The point here is that children learn language. They are born, they hear language in the family from friends, relatives, families, and all the time talking from the moment the child is born or even before the child is born, even when the child is in the mother's womb, there is evidence that suggests okay, that child listens to a spoken language all around him or her. The language may not be elaborate. We never speak to a child the mantras of Vedas, etcetera, etcetera. Okay, after the child is born, we may try to teach the child some prayers, some shlokas, or some tables, you know, or start preparing him for JEE. By and large, children learn language on their own, but they listen to people. They, it is essential condition like a film. Okay? The film can take picture, but it must be exposed to the object. Similarly, the, the human being is biologically designed to learn a language and more languages, but the human being requires exposure to the language. And this exposure starts even before the child is born. All the family, all the friends, all the relatives, all the visitors, sometimes they talk specifically to the child. What is your name? What would you like? Where the father has gone? Mostly dumb questions. Nobody asks the child, what was the taste of chocolate like I gave you yesterday? Okay. Can I tell you a story? Yes, Can I tell you yes, a story? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, once I was going with a very young child in Chennai in an auto rickshaw from Adyar to Purushwakkam, north to south, south to north. So, long distance the child was getting bored. So, when we were crossing T Nagar, I told the child, dear child, dear child, we are now crossing T Nagar, just to keep him amused. He would not know what T Nagar is, etcetera, etcetera. And then I asked him, uh, do you understand? We are crossing T Nagar. He said, yes, I understand, you are crossing T Nagar. And then after some time, he asked me, do not you have a chocolate Nagar here? You know, you have T Nagar. But do not you have a chocolate nugger? Here is human being, you know. Who told that boy that tea, coffee, chocolate come in one class? So, child assumed that if there is a tea nugger, there may be a coffee nugger, there may be a coke nugger, there may be a Pepsi nugger, but there may also be a chocolate, chocolate nugger. So, this ability in human beings to deduce to logic what we call infer, please write, infer, you know. If you know, if you hear a word which has past tense in ed, wanted, mended, rented, then the third word immediately you think move, what is the past tense? Moved, ed, you add to it, okay. mended, rented wanted, chant. What will the past tense? Chanted. You know, this ability is God given. This ability, but this ability will flower. This ability will come into being only when the child is exposed to the language. So, that is why it is, this exposure is required. And a third feature of the language is it is culturally transmitted, not mechanically. Maybe, you know, machine is part of culture, but mechanically transmitted, no, culturally transmitted. Lot of people use it with one another. The child observes his or her relatives, his or her friends, his or her caregivers, nurse, teacher, maid servant, ayah, master, you know, the boss of the mother, the boss of the father how they talk to each other. It is then that we learn social manner, 
no mother or father sits with you today and tells you come sit down today i am going to tell you how you can talk to your mother in law be respectful but don't respect okay does anyone has your mother told you has your father told you even my mother and my father did not tell me i wish they had okay all of us learned these things from the ambience from the way we watch people no human being you know the greatest gift of mankind in language is the ability to tell lies please write the ability to tell lies human beings are the only creatures in the world who can tell lies where were you yesterday i was in the library sir i know you were at the beach you went to bazanagar beach but you can say i was in the library i was in the laboratory no dog can do that one dog asks another dog 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 where were you the dog would say well i was chasing a bone i, I was waiting at the meat shop it cannot say i was in a library okay dog does not have the ability monkey lion that is why many of us say many people in modern linguistics languages neurosciences say that darwin's theory that man is a descendant of monkey is a science fiction is not reality there are many gaps between monkey and man which darwin's theory does not explain the ability for mathematics a monkey can assess the distance between two branches accurately so that its jump is always accurate its leap is always accurate human beings can always also assess the distance between two branches they are also very accurate that is why somebody hits the ball with a cricket bat and the other person runs and catches it that catcher uses nine different kinds of knowledge the speed of the ball the angle at which the ball is coming the momentum the velocity the weight the color the angle a whole lot of things you make a mistake in one and you drop a catch and you are tried for match fixing right it happens okay but there is a difference one monkey cannot tell another monkey the distance between this branch and that branch is 2 meters 35 millimeters can they but human beings can one can always tell the distance between alakranda hostel and uh, taramani gate is nothing right human beings have this ability but this ability will come to fruition this ability will prosper will appear only if you listen to language only when exposed there are stories that some children were born normally but carried away by wolf to a forest until about the age of 8 or 9 they heard no human language no natural language and therefore they had no language normal child born in a family takes time it's graded okay first you begin with individual sounds all children all over the world be they in africa swahili or what is your favorite city uh, florida or massachusetts new york no matter where no matter where you know all children begin with individual sounds one of the three either you say ba or you say pa or you say a no fourth because of the simple biological reason the tongue is larger than the mouth so the child has difficulty saying the child cannot suddenly say the first law of thermodynamics is the child cannot say. there may be exceptions nature of course has exceptions but 99.9% children begin with peripheral sounds from sounds they go to syllables pa becomes pa pa a becomes a e the marathi word for mother or ta ta or na na okay nobody says no child has been heard the first day itself saying give me lux okay cluster of consonant 
or I will like pizza for breakfast. Okay? They reach this ability, but they, they take three years, four years. By the time the child is nine months, the child starts putting sounds together in a word. Papa, Mama, I. The first day the child said, I. There was celebration, cakes were cut in modern families. In old families where each family had two dozen children, okay, if the child made a lot of noise, they were given two or three slaps, you know, very good resounding slaps. And they were produced wonderful children, people like Tagore, Einstein, Subhas Bose. Okay? Subhas Bose was the fifth child, Tagore was the seventh. Okay? It happened, you know. Nature has a, a way. The language is learnt by human beings. They have the biological ability. But this ability is fulfilled only through exposure. Exposure may come from any source. It may come from parents. But these days parents do not have time. Mother working, father working, child care of television <laughs> or care of Google or Wikipedia, computer or in the play school or nursery school. So, family, friends, relatives. Actually, if you look at the British history of British India, then the children of British born in India were fluent in Indian languages. Why? Can you tell me why? When the parents knew nothing other than ao and jao <laughs> or come and go, they only need this. Koi hai, that is the only word they knew. But the, their children knew, they were fluent in Indian languages. Why? Can you tell me why? Because they are caretakers, they are wet nurses what in Portuguese it call aya. In our languages we have the word aya, a wet nurse. They were mostly Indians. Okay? And naturally these nurses not only gave milk to the British children, they also gave some Indian languages, some songs. Okay? So, naturally the child learnt Tamil, naturally the child learnt Hindi, Telugu. Okay? So, no matter where it comes from, family, friends, relatives, then the second question arises, do all children speak like their parents? Do all girls speak like their mothers? Many husbands think so, they are not right. Do all boys speak like their fathers or mothers? Yes and no. In a large sense, yes. They speak Telugu, they have the same kinds, their plural is still, you know, girl. They have the same plural marker, the same honor marker. But in some respect, the child has a lot of new words, does not have a lot of old words. If you compare your Telugu, now you know, your Telugu is very different from your grandfather's Telugu, your Tata's Telugu in two respects. You have lot of computer related words, which your father's father or your father's father's father or your mother's mother's mother did not have. She had some words which you do not have. If you look at her kitchen, her way of transport, they travelled on elephants, bullock cart boats, you trans travel on bike, you travel on motor cars, you travel in railway trains. Now, underground trains, they did not have those things. They had boats, they had elephants and they had a special words for them. There was a special word for the seat that was put on the back of the elephant. What was it called? What was the driver of elephant called? Okay. What was the driver of bullock cart called? They had a special words for these things. Today, we have different words. What is the driver of a motor car called? A driver. A driver of taxi called? Okay. A and a person who takes care of the car called? Mechanic. Caretaker or in a garage? Mechanic. Cleaner. Mechanic. Mechanic. Where your parents kept their ox was called? Shed. Shed. Telugu word. Shed. Telugu word. No. Okay. And where car is kept? garage. So, you know, in many respects, actually I have, ta I have taught here for about 25 years. I have seen hostel jargon also changing at IIT Madras. 
in uh, the batch of in 1980s, early 90s, the hardly computer related word, hardly computer related jargon. Today you have lot of computer related, computer related jargon. So, all of us learned from our elders, our friends, our enemies, okay, they also teach us and sometimes enemies teach us good things, how to survive. Okay? But it is not all of it. We never learn everything that our parents have or want us to learn. Is that good or bad? What do you say? Good or bad? We do not know. Good or bad is time bound word. The point here is no father or mother is able to teach everything to their child and yet children know a lot. Do you imagine your mother sat down with you and told you, today I am going to teach you how to make passive voice in Telugu. Did they? No. And yet you know passive I voice. Know. You can say cow has been stolen, milk has been burnt, money has been deposited, letter has been posted. They are all the passive voice sentences. How did you learn them? That is the gift of nature. You know, you need some exposure, but please write. All of us know more than we experience. That is true also of language. All of us know more than we experience. Nobody has sat down and taught us everything, but this knowledge will come to us only if we are exposed, not without. It is in that sense we mean culturally transmitted. Then there is attitude. You know, you can say two people do not have this equal number of words. There is attitude, there is aptitude. Some people can sing we pay them for that, but language is common. Language. So, there is the question of attitude, there is the question of aptitude, we have differences. Some people remember, some people write well, some people can read well, some people can read very fast. Do you know anyone who can read 300 pages in one day? Okay. I have a friend, if you like I can invite her to this class one day. She reads a 400 page book in one day and ask her from anywhere. She is also an English teacher. She is a training manager in a computer company, a good friend of mine. Okay. So, God has given us some ability, but the basic ability that we can read and understand, we can understand and write, we can listen and understand, we can understand and speak, this is common to all of us differences happen. All children do not learn everything enthusiastically. You know, do you remember first day when you were sent to school? You cried, your mother had to bribe you with a chocolate. Eventually, uh, you were managed, you were started going to school. There is reinforcement, parents teach you every day. Uncle, uncle ke hello chapu, hello chapu, why should we do hello chapu, you know, leave the child alone. But you know, we force the child, say hello to the uncle, say good morning, namaskaram andi, okay? do all of these things. So, there is reinforcement every day. 30 times a day, your mother will tell you, daddy, okay? why should I keep daddy every day? Why should daddy not call me and say something sweet or nice? Okay? Or resistance, you are also told how not to do. No, no all children maybe, not all children, you guys are exceptions perhaps, but you know most children are also given prejudices by parents. Do not talk to that uncle, not good. Okay? So, all uh, my father's brothers are bad according to my mother, all my mother's people are bad according to my father. Okay? Yet, look at the beauty of human mind, in spite of parents, in spite of friends, we learn a lot of things, but these conditions are, complete the sentence please, these conditions are essential. Unless you have language in use, 
unless you hear language in use, you do not learn it. You learn more, much more than you hear, much more than you read, but that more will not happen, even that limited thing will not happen unless you hear it. I will just give you some examples. I want to see who can read it aloud. This is a grandfather telling a tale. Can somebody please stand up and read it aloud? Come on, quick, we do not have much time. Yes, please. Uh, there was an old, a uh, grandfather tells a tale. There was an old man who was going to sell his hat. He was taking thousands and thousands of hats with him. And he was going from village to town to sell his hats. On the way, he was very tired. Like the lazy lion and the cool, cool breeze was going there. And then he fell asleep. He slept for a while. Up above the tree, there was a monkey. And the monkey saw the hat in the box. Okay. You know, this is how our you know, parents teach us language. Please sit down. Thank you. This is how we learn language. We hear a variety of contexts, stories, the stories of conversations. Then suddenly there is a question, where is my cap? Where is my hat? So, a child hears all kinds of language in its daily life and the child reaches conclusions. Okay, this kind of sentence when you describe, this kind of sentence when you answer, this kind of sentence when you ask a question, this kind of sentence when you are happy, wow, this kind of sentence when you are sad, alas. Okay? Sometimes see conversation between mother and son, can somebody please read it aloud? Two people, somebody playing mother, somebody playing son. I want to see if a boy can play mother, acting in a play. Come on, please, do not waste time. You know, studio time is, you see how much the salaries, the equipment, the power, the technology. Come on, please. Yes. Okay. Or, a, you know, uh, with the two of you, you can play mother and child, right? Can you please stand up, both of you, ladies? Uh, let's turn the lights off. No. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Sleeping time now. No. Tell your peace. No. <laughs> Go on. It's the insistent no. time. No. The mother is tired. She has cooked for the entire family. Now it is bedtime and the child says, no, tell me stories. So the mother says, sleeping time. Please continue. Tell your peace. No. <laughs> okay, please sit down. Thank you. This is how, you see, from very complex stories to simple conversations, family gives you a variety. Okay, somebody else, two boys, please, come on now. Do not be lazy. Mother, no? Come on, please. Okay, the two of you, second bench, please, stand up. Right. I am sorry. Sorry about what? I, 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 he already knows. I, I, don't know about what. <laughs> <laughs> now the mother is irritated. You see, this is this is you know I have taken this from real life. You know I have I'm doing a project. Uh, I'm working on multilingual children. So this is my interest. Third feature, please write. What is the third feature? First is languages. Second language is? Third language is? Literally transmitted. Fourth, please write. Language varies, it has variations. It is not the same in, you know, though we speak Telugu all over Andhra, but Telangana has one kind of Telugu. Lots of Urdu there, you know. I was in Hyderabad for 10 years and I thought I could understand the Telugu is spoken there. They do not say Nalgu Paise, Nalgu Wana, Nalgu, they say Charana, Char Paise, Char Rupi, Char Minar. They do not say Nalgu Minar, okay. They say Chorasta, right. Lots of other words, you know. I had Telangana. Telugu is very different from Telugu is spoken in Rajmandri or is spoken in Anantapur or Karnul, 
etc., etc. So, so for Tamil, you know, Tamil is spoken in Coimbatore. My, I have friends from Coimbatore, I have friends from Madurai and Chennai. Coimbatore people think the best Tamil is spoken in Coimbatore and Madurai people laugh at them. <laughs> they say, Kaveri sir, Tamil is like best Tamil, actually they say one street of Kumbakonam, but you know, uh, Trichy, Kumbakonam, Madurai, they say that is where. But both Coimbatore and Madurai people are agreed that Chennai Tamil is worst Tamil. They actually use a word for it. They say they call it Panni Tamil, Pig Tamil. Panni is pig in Tamil. They call it Chennai Tamil is Panni Tamil, Pig Tamil. You know, I have two friends. They frequently have arguments. Similarly, you know Hindi. I come from Bihar. People in Delhi count Bihar as Hindi speaking state when they have to get numbers larger than Bengali and Telugu. But then tell you, Bihari Hindi, cha? like that. Oh, we do not care, you know, because there are differences. We do not say, Mai jata hu, Mai aata hu, we say, Hum jate hai, Hum aate hai. Actually, we look down upon those who say, Mai, kya bakri kitra mai mai kar raha hai? You are doing mai mai like goat, okay? So, language differs across regions. Language differs across, you know, class, caste, everything is fixed. The boy likes the girl, girl likes the boy, dowry is fixed. How many barat will go, what they eat, everything is fixed. And suddenly the boy's grandmother discovers that the girl's Telugu is not standard. She does not speak Andhra Telugu. She speaks Rayal Sima Telugu, corrupted. Entire thing is broken. What a pity really. Okay? Or you know, the, she does not speak class Telugu. You know, the absolutely Sanskrit laden, etc. Or topic, same English, same Tamil, same Telugu, same Sanskrit becomes another language in another context because of the density of words or domain. You know, you may be two people talking in this class, but you and I will never use Telugu or Hindi, only English. But you and I meet in canteen and we do not say, How are you? We say, Bagunara. Okay? Sogima, Chapande, are you all right? Okay? There will be mixtures. So, language changes. Actually, we have a saying in Sanskrit which says that every 20 kilometers language changes, every 10 kilometers water changes. Okay? Look at some examples. Changing language in time. Can you tell me what the first paragraph means? Quietly, please look at it. Quietly, I am going to give you a pencil as gift. Of course, a, a good pencil. Gurna does not sell that pencil. Okay? If you can read the first paragraph aloud, one person. I want to see if you have something called guts. Anybody, please. Just the first paragraph. Do not worry about meaning. Who can read it aloud? I cannot even see. Do you understand what it means? Okay? It is old English. This was how English this is how English was spoken, not written. English was not a written language until very late, uncivilized people, quote unquote civilization. Okay? This is how English was spoken until about a thousand years ago. Okay? Can somebody read it aloud? Try, Anurag. Okay? On entering guest of God, Zyofnan and Yodan, Seo Egg was solidus del Mentic. Piostre Viron offer their Nai with me say, Good, wonderful. And God's cast was Jeffrey offer water. God Quarta, Jeffrey Leo and Leo and Biat Quarta. Yeah, by and large, I think you are right. 
This is old English. On angin geshob kod hyofunan in yordan. Sio yorde was sodlis idil and amtig and the ostra veron offered their nai with nisi brad nisi and goddess gazed was gifted out of her wateru god kwe da gave her the liot and liot and where they give her the old english translation is given there anurag read the translation please aloud in the beginning created the god created heavens and earth the earth was truly void and empty and the darkness were over the abyss surface and god spirit was brought over the water god said then be light and the light was made you see this is how language can change in a thousand years it is another language not only you and i for both of us english is a foreign language even for those who are in england they don't understand old english it is so changed similarly with telugu you won't understand telugu of a thousand years ago or hindi of a thousand years ago or sanskrit okay today english is very different in the beginning god created heavens and earth the earth was truly void and empty and darkness were over the abyss surface and god's spirit was brought over the water god said then be light and light was made okay see how much it has changed in pronunciation in words in the way words are derived in time language changes language also changes in place hindi in patna is one way if you go to patna and you ask for samosa you won't get samosa you know what samosa is in patna we eat singhara we don't say hum in jabalpur where you speak hindi a young girl can be called bai bai jara ye de do bai jara ye le do but don't call a young girl bai in patna or vanaras you will be killed okay bai there means a girl who offers service for money okay it's a totally different word okay in rajasthan in madhya pradesh in uttar pradesh any language a telugu in Visakhapatnam is not the same thing as Telugu in Warangal, as Telugu in Anantapur, as Telugu in Kadapa or Chittur. Okay, they differ in places. Uh, I have given you lots of examples. You know, uh, you can come up with your own. In, in in it and these differences manifest in not just in words, they also appear in pronunciation. in the hindi in bihar we do not have sh we do not say gaushala we say gaushala gali nahi de rahe hain sala you know we don't have sh we have s similarly in english it is cut is cut in london but in manchester it is cut the driver takes a short cut and what sa- what shines in the sky is sun and what you travel in is bus so a boy tells the girl here is bus miluv the bus has arrived my love but he says here is bus miluv in manchester but in london it is bus my love so language changes in areas in pronunciation okay according to class caste also in tamil nadu brahmins call water teertham others call it tanni right brahmins pronounce cholinga cho cho cholinga kurchi okay they don't say solinga okay and you know uh, it it's a it's a great uh, social marker identity marker in english also which does not have many of these class related thing rich people don't take meat they take mutton okay they don't wear dress they have garments they don't take 
meal, they take dinner, they do not take supper, they have repast, okay, you know, these, these differences, class based differences are there. The topic related differences, it is English, but can you tell me which subject the first paragraph comes from? Which subject? Second paragraph. Can you tell me which subject uh, it comes from? Chemistry, biochemistry, no physics. And third paragraph? Linguistics, biology. Okay. So, you know, it is the same thing, but according to topic, it differs or same people, same two people, but in lab they have one kind of language. In hostel, well, you do not even need to speak, another kind of language. In Sarang Shastra, yet another kind of language. Imagine two IIT BTECs meet on a railway train okay? or imagine four years later one IIT BTEC gets married and invites the other IIT BTEC. What would he say? He would write formal letters to a lot of people, but to his friend he would say, wow, now finally somebody has agreed to marry me, <laughs> come. <laughs> okay? You know, so depending upon place, people, time, topic okay? and various domains can be there, domain of home, domain of work domain of transactions, religion, no matter how, in church, in temple, in mosque, we all use very sacred language. The point is language varies the fourth feature. What is the fourth feature? The language varies. Please look up the book, look up net and you will learn more about it. Thank you. Have a good day.